I'm Jonathan Cow Problem, Head Curator at the British Museum, and I'm here in the museum's Web Film Creation Chapel. Over the course of this series, I'll be showing you some of the museum's precious exhibits, secured by our great leader and Lord Britis, <laughs> from the clumsy hands of peoples across the globe. Well, no, somebody get that please. Oh, uh, get up. Whoops, hey, okay, catch it. And brought here to the British Museum to give them a safe home free from foreigners. Our treasure this week is this filthy toe rag. This cloth was once used upon the toe of Brandon Flowers, lead soup gurgler of notorious meso swilling disco pop band The Killers. The year was 2004. The Killers single Mr. Brightside had just gone platinum across the UK, killing thousands. To honour this tragedy, Brandon Flowers was to attend Buckingham Palace, former site of the Queen's personal pig abattoir and current site of the British memorial to the fatally sat upon. Mr. Flowers was to undergo the traditional ceremony held by the then mostly alive Queen to commemorate a record going platinum. During the ceremony, the Queen would pour molten platinum onto the toe of a band member, encasing it forever in precious metal. Dr. Barbara Flans is an expert on the platinum toe encasing ceremony, and she's there! Musicians are limited in the number of records they can have go platinum by the number of toes they have to gild. So while solo artists can usually only have around 10 albums go platinum, some artists such as Slipknot and the London Symphony Orchestra have tried to circumvent that regulation by having a great many members with a great many toes. Does that work? Absolutely not. You see, with that many toes on stage, after a short while, even very large venues such as Wembley begin to reek overpoweringly of toes. And in smaller venues, the toe stench can reach such levels where death is not only caused, but actively welcomed. Thanks to a successful first career as a grime artist, all ten of Dr. Flan's own toes were encased in platinum in the early 90s. Thanks for coming in. That was really great. Uh, do you need help getting out of the building? No. After the pouring, Mr. Flowers waited with the Queen for two hours for the molten platinum to dry, passing the time enthusiastically petting the Queen's corgis to distract him from the terrible pain. Once the platinum had set, the Queen gave it the traditional shine with this very cloth. In summary, Mr. Flowers vigorously stroked for two hours till his digit got hard and the Queen polished him off in a rag. Yes. 